if you have ever tried to allow an extension of your game by dynamically loading content like scenes then you might have already found out that while everything is fine when you test in the editor as soon as you export the project those previously dynamically loaded scenes just don't seem to be there anymore if so then you did not note that in the export build you need to load scenes like this but why is that the case during this phase godot is absolutely cooking but more importantly also destroying the file structure you see in the editor but hold up a second, actually this is not 100% true, it technically doesn't destroy the structure, it more or less only translates it in into an after export structure. This means that files get renamed, paths are remapped and so on. Therefore everything is fine in the editor, but not after export. But there still remains a question, how do we extend the game after export? To summarize real quick, dynamic loading allows us to load content from our export build but the problem is how on earth a third party is supposed to get their content into your build. This is where mods come in handy, but I suggest instead of babbling about the theory we start getting practical. First of all we need our base game which is obviously the game you will export in the first place and let's quickly start with a menu scene. That's everything I have for now, no code. No music, no sleep dear Brooklyn, just plain good old control notes. And now it's coding time. When we press the load button, we open the file explorer and when the file explorer selects a file, we will just print out its path for now. Furthermore, I will do a bit of parsing and extract the file name with extension and the file name without extension from the path. And now already comes the magical line, load resource pack, which will try to load the file from the path and append it to all of your resources, optionally overwriting already existent ones. And now we are already skipping one vital step, namely communication between mod maker and base game developer. You see, one cannot simply make mods for anything without knowing the system or limitations first. Therefore, the mod maker needs information on how to integrate mods with your game. In my example here, we assume that I, as the manager of the base game, provided the following information to the mod makers. When loading a mod, the game will extract mod name from the path, which to be honest is kinda ugly, but for now it will work. And then I will try to load an initializer scene, which is within a folder labeled after the mod name and add it as a child to the main scene, which again is ugly, but this is just to show you the basics. 99% of mod making and systems need to be customized for your game anyways. This is just a quick and simple possibility. Talking about possibilities. Fun fact, did you know that apparently the game Factorio is only a mod loader and the whole game is implemented as a mod? <laughs> but now back to us. Now we create another project which will later be exported as our mod. First of all, I create a folder named after the mod I am making and add the previously mentioned initializer scene which will for now only print a message after the ready function is called. We then go to export our project, select the build template and only export PCK zip. When we now go back to our base game and try to load the exported mod, we First of all, I realized that I accidentally show the load button instead of the file dialog, but once that is corrected, we also have to get the result of the load method as a boolean and not as an error enumerator, whoopsie. But now when we load the scene, we should also instantiate it before we add it to the tree. Congratulations on your first mod, by the way. One interesting thing I found is, assuming I add an autoload in my base game which has a say hello method, I can reference it from my mod even though it is not yet known to the mod itself. Funnily enough, you can also export it with this error and it will work perfectly fine when the mod is loaded. If you want to work cleaner, you can also get the auto load node with get node or null and validate the reference before you access it, which also works perfectly fine. If you have made it so far, forget to subscribe and don't hit the like button. See ya! Nah, mates, I'm joking. You think I'm making a video about mods without adding Shrek? <laughs> Add a sub viewport container and a sub viewport. Import the Shrek. Don't forget to make the viewport transparent. Invade the main scene and export. <laughs> yeah, boy. Look at this beauty. This animation hits harder than my phone.